The sounds of classical music are now something you can see, thanks to a local pianist. Let's travel to the ARC building on Powell Street to see how she's trying to bring her music to the masses. I often think that music isn't even something that I necessarily hear anymore. So it goes beyond language even. It's much more of a, maybe sometimes it's something that I kind of taste or uh, something that I touch even. It um, becomes another force in my life. I think the most attractive part about playing music for me has been the travel. I've been able to travel particularly to Europe and that's been a great thrill for me. Uh, one of the places I travel to a lot is Sweden. It's so beautiful there. And one summer I was thinking, what if there was a way to bring this beauty to the stage? Wouldn't that be marvelous? And thought, well, this could be possible using photographs, which was really an experiment, which is why it's called kind of project sound or project sound. If you're thinking musically about photographs, it's amazing how different elements come out that you don't expect. You start to see line in the photograph, you start to see texture in a different way. It's surprising how you can actually line up photographs with specific textures and lines in the music. I think I, I was thinking a little bit about this idea of having an intense listening experience and I think that with classical music people feel a little bit on the outside and I thought well what if there was a way to make people feel more welcome in the situation and one way to do that is to add a visual element to it. So I think then I began to realize that it was a way for you to see music or on the flip side, to hear the imagery. Playing the piano is kind of like an extra limb, like having another arm or another leg, or maybe a type of oxygen. But I remember being very connected to the piano emotionally as a child. I remember especially as a kid, we would go away for a month and there was no piano where we went, and it made me feel totally the equivalent of when I became a teenager and realized what it was to be apart from someone I loved so much, you know. I still have that even though it's definitely a big reality for me on kind of a practical level. It's just this, like you need to get up and you need to have breakfast and you need to play the piano and it's just part of uh, a normal day. Thank you. 